Why should you always download your My Social Security statement prior to filing for disability or for that matter prior to talking to an attorney like me about your disability case. I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a social security disability attorney. And I represent clients uh, in all 50 states and I tell everybody who I speak to about disability uh, when they call in for case evaluation if they could it would be very very helpful to download and send me their my social security statement and if you don't know what I'm talking about you can go to SS, SSA gov slash my account and you can register for and download your my social security statement those of you who've been around for a while remember that several up until a couple years ago social security would mail these statements out to everybody uh, once a year well they stopped doing that to save money if you want to get it you can get it electronically and it's really a good idea to do that and here's a couple reasons why and again I recommend that you just have a copy of that at the time uh, you speak to an attorney or at the time you're thinking about filing First of all, it will confirm that you are in fact insured for Title II SSDI or disability. As you may know, there are two types of disability benefits out there. One type is called SSDI, and that's the type where you've paid into the system and you have enough credits and you're eligible for disability benefits. The other type is called SSI, which is basically a means-tested program. And the issue with an SSI case is that any sort of household income or assets, I think it's about $2,000, hasn't been raised in years. If you have any kind of household income, like say from a spouse's working or if you have assets, let's say a retirement account, that will offset, in many cases, dollar for dollar, your SSI benefit. The SSI, SSI amount is limited by statute. I think it's less than $800 in 2022. So it's really easy to get in a situation where your SSI benefit is $100 or $50 a month or even less than that could be nothing. And SSI is just, because of the means testing of it, it's just a lot more difficult to, to deal with. Um, as an attorney, I will tell you, I'm very reluctant to take SSI cases because inevitably somebody has a family member that's helping them or they have uh, assets that they've been saving up. All those things offset it, and since attorneys like me get paid a percentage of past due benefits, many times in an SSI case, there are no past due benefits. I can't take these cases on a contingency. Further, many SSI claimants, because they've never really worked or have not worked in a long time, don't have access to medical care. When you're trying to prove disability, having recent medical records is, is a real help. So bottom line is, is that SSDI, or Title II Disability, is far preferable than SSI, so it's really helpful if you get your My Social Security statement to see, okay, yes, I'm insured for SSDI. The second thing is your My Social Security statement will tell you how much your monthly benefit would be if you're approved for disability. So a lot of people want to know, they file for disability benefits. One of the first questions I get is, hey, Jonathan, how much am I going to get every month? Well, there's no way for me to find out by looking in your electronic file. They hide that information from us, but it's on your My Social Security statement. So that will answer that question very quickly, how much the monthly benefit would be. And that's really important as well because realize that if your monthly benefit is $1,200 a month, $1,000 a month, uh, you've got to really think about does it make sense to file for benefits or should I continue to try to work? Obviously, if you can't work, you can't work, but realize that you could be going through a process that could last a year, year and a half, two years, and at the end of the day, your benefit may be $1,000 a month. Can you really survive on that? And at the very least, you need to know what the amount would be so that you can make arrangements with friends or family to say, look, I'm gonna qualify for $1,000 a month, but I'm gonna need some help with room and board and so forth. So again, I think it's just useful to know. And the third thing, which is I think really important that you should look at it, is all, are all your credits posted? I've seen a number of cases where people have uh, worked and paid into the system and we look at their My Social Security statement and lo and behold, all their credits are not there. And that could be because, uh, for example, a common situation is husband and wife work together in a business and they decide all the money we're going to put towards the husband's name. Uh, the wife in, ends up getting disabled. She files for benefits. There's no earnings under her name. Uh, in which case, we might, I might tell her, go to your CPA and refile your tax returns. I think you can go up to three years back and show that the earnings that you made uh, that were attributed to your spouse are in fact your 
money. So it increases your number of credits. Or if you see that an employer did not post them, uh, there are some processes beyond the scope of this video where you can try to get those benefits or those amounts posted. So it's really important to see what's showing up there. Is it correct? What the amount would be? In fact, when you apply, uh, one of the questions they ask in the application is, have you, do you agree with the, the benefit statement uh, shown or the, the, the earning statement shown in your My Social Security statement? And obviously, if you do, you want to check yes. If you don't, so you, might, you can say, I don't know. But it's certainly helpful to have that statement on hand. And for me, I really like to see it because it just answers a lot of questions. In fact, uh, I tell people if they reach out to me and it looks like they maybe haven't worked in a few years, um, to go ahead and get it and send it to me, I'm always happy to look at it. I can look at it in literally 30 seconds and tell them that they're insured. Uh, or we may say, you're not insured now, but it looks like you were insured two or three years ago. Can we prove your disability began two or three years ago? Which means we might choose a different onset date for the disability. I know what I have to do as far as getting medical records. So again, a lot of utility in getting that my social security statement um, I'll have a link to that in the uh, description of this video below, but uh, everything else being equal, if you can get that statement before you file, before you talk to an attorney, it would be very, very helpful. Um, please visit me online at ssdanswers.com. I've got a free secret Swimming disability survival kit there. You can also ask me for a no obligation case, case evaluation. Always happy to do that. And if you like this video, found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm always releasing new videos, and I think you'll find it very useful if you're going through the Social Security Disability process. So for now, this is Jonathan Ginsberg wishing you all the best. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the survival kit available at no cost, and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include, how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case. And a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find the Survival Kit Essential Reading. Download your Survival Kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now. And as always, I wish you the best.